we want to add the following sine fractions. In order to add fractions, we do have to have a common denominator. So looking at our first example, notice how we do have a common denominator of eight, which means we can add these fractions in the current form. But I think when adding fractions that involve negative fractions, it's helpful if we rewrite this negative fraction so that the negative sign is in the numerator. So we can rewrite this as negative three over eight plus one over eight. Now negative three eighths written in this form and this form are equivalent, but I think when adding negative fractions, this form is a little bit easier to work with. So when we add these, the denominator is going to stay the same. And now we add the numerators. So we have negative three plus one, which would be negative two. But this fraction does simplify because the numerator and denominator do share a common factor of two. So to show this, let's write negative two as negative one times two. And the prime factorization of eight would be two times two times two. So now we can see that one factor of two will simplify out. So our sum would be negative one all over four, or negative one fourth. But then again, when giving the final sum, it's more common to see the negative back out front of the fraction rather than in the numerator, even though both forms are equivalent. Even though both forms would be equivalent, this would be the more common way to express the sum. Let's take a look at a second example. Notice in this example, we do not have a common denominator, so we will have to find the least common denominator of three and nine. So if you can look at these denominators and know that the least common denominator would be nine, that's great. But I do want to show a way how you can look at the prime factorization of the denominators to help determine the least common denominator. So let's first rewrite this, and we'll write the denominators in prime factored form. So this will be negative one all over three, because three is prime, plus, let's write this as negative two all over the prime factorization of nine would be three times three. So if we obtain a common denominator, that means the denominators must contain the same prime factors. Notice how this denominator only has one factor of three and this one has two. So to obtain the common denominator, this fraction must contain another factor of three. So we can multiply this by three as long as we do the same to the numerator. Now let's go ahead and rewrite this. This will be negative three over nine plus negative two over nine. Notice now we have our common denominator of nine, so the denominator stays the same. And then we add the numerator. So we have negative three plus negative two which is equal to negative five. But again, this will normally be expressed where the negative is out front of the fraction, even though these two fractions are equivalent. We'll take a look at some more examples in the next video. I hope this was helpful.